Do you currently utilize JotForm approvals and have multiple approvers in your process? Let me introduce you to JotForm group approvals. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And if you're like me and you currently use JotForm approvals and you have multiple people needed to approve something, the setup can be very time consuming because you're going to be dragging and dropping in multiple approvers. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you how simple this new update is. So I need to create a form first and let's go ahead and do this as an expense reimbursement. So I'm going to create a quick form. We're going to start from scratch with the classic form and I'm going to drag in just a couple of basic elements. We'll do the name, email, and then maybe a short text, and we can change this to expense. And we'll go ahead and change the title up here to expense reimbursement. And from here, now that the form is created, in the top left-hand corner, we're gonna go to the form builder, and we're gonna drop down to approvals. Now, as of right now, we can see our form up at the top and then we have one approver and that approver is me, the form creator. But if I need multiple people to approve this before, I would need to come over to the left hand side and bring in multiple approvers. But now all I have to do is click on the approval process right here. We're going to choose the settings. Then over on the right hand side under the properties, we get to see the approvers section. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in a few more people here. So as of right now, I have three different approvers. If you're on our free account, you can have up to three approvers. If you're on any of our paid plans, you can have up to 10. And if you're on enterprise or teams, you have unlimited approvers. But the magic comes right below the bottom. So of course, we want to make sure that they're going to log in to approve. But then we have completion rules. So let's dig into those real quick. So the first one is going to be require response from the majority. So for me, I have three people. As long as two people complete the approval process, it will move forward. Next, we have require response from all, which means that we need everyone, all three of these people to complete their part. Next up, we have require response from one person. So even though there's three, we just need one person to either approve or deny and it will go through. And then we have require a certain number of responses. So here we can see that another drop down populated below. So we need to choose how many people do we need to respond. So it knows that I have three people and in my approver. So I can either choose one, two or all three. Now you probably saw this text underneath on a few others, it says in the event of a tie, the first response with the majority wins. So for this example, let's go ahead and leave it on a certain number of responses required, but I'm going to change it to two and let me show you how this works. I'm going to head up to the top left hand corner. I'm just going to jump back over to view this form. Let's go ahead and fill it out and submit. Now let's jump over to one of the approvers emails. So we can see here that our action is required. So whenever I open the email, I get those two buttons up at the top to approve, deny. We can also go to the inbox and then we have the information of this expense reimbursement form. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and approve this and we're brought to our inbox. So down here at the bottom, it says that we're still waiting on approval because we chose two out of three. So I'm going to choose to show details and we can see all the approvers over on the right hand side. Now, if I know for sure that I want to approve that expense and I don't need anyone else to approve this, I can come in here and I can choose to take over and get it done. So I can see here we have two people who are waiting and then we have these three dots on the right hand side. If I choose to click on those three dots, I can take over and complete this for them. So it's telling me here, complete Kimberly's task yourself and continue the approval flow. So if I wanna add a comment, I can do that here, but let's go ahead and approve. And here we can see that the entire approval process is completed, but it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing group approvals, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.